Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Sussman, a Truder. Welcome to Family Man, which I am reliably assured is a dark, grim RPG about how far you will go to claw your way out of debt and whether you risk losing your family or yourself to do it. Now, you might be a bit surprised to hear that given, you know, the cute blocky voxel graphics, but I am told that's what this is, and I've been looking forward to this one for a while, so screw it, let's dive in and see what we've got here. You just couldn't help yourself, eh, Bard? Uh, another brawl. Bobby, this wasn't my fault. Yeah, he flipping started it, Bobby. Don't get down my throat, Bobby. You're supposed to have my back. Just get out of this in one piece, would ya? Okay, uh, that face is the only thing you got left going for ya. Okay, so apparently I'm a dick who starts fights in bars, but at the bare minimum, I've got a pretty face. Hey, loser! Oh, I'm guessing that's me. We've stepped outside, as the expression goes. Uh, okay, well, let's flip it. Do this then. So, okay, I got myself a block. So, if he wants to come swinging at me, that's fine. Level one ruffian, and no, screw you. Oh, I've got a good, vicious, vicious right hook on me. Yeah, shouldn't have messed with me, mate. Oh, that's nice. I punched him with my right hand, so it's the appropriate eye that's gone all bloody. Oh, that's cute. After the fight, he asks you if everything feels alright, and you can say, everything feels inverted. <laughs> that's a really cute way to, you know, actually ask players if they like to invert controls in universe. That's very nice. Alright, so, left jab, right jab, got myself some blocking, sprinty, jumpy, grabby, right, thing I get the basics here, so, grab myself a beer. Marvellous. And, uh, where were we anyway? I assume we were drinking beer, and you were boring the ears off some poor soul. And yeah, we talked to the thought, oh, I'm kind of into them, though. Oh, I see, we're having a flashback right now. Okay, I'm remembering key moments of my own life. Because, yes, I need to have a family for the game Family Man to make sense. So, I need to pick my life partner. So, okay, 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 okay. We got ourselves Captain Straight Laced over here. And then, you're wearing, yeah, you're wearing an actual pink, like, full body suit of some descriptions. So that's... That's a no-no. You're a lumberjack. Yes, 100% lumberjack. Admittedly, I'm not 100% keen on how her eyes are located slightly, you know, off her face. But that appears to be, you know, true for literally everyone in this universe. So, fair enough, I won't hold it against her. Would you like a beer? And Oh, I'm so sorry. I was planning to, like, give you the beer or drink the beer. I did not mean to punch you in the face with a beer. Oh, we'll laugh about this in years to come. Hey there, it's you, the guy who just punched me in the face with a beer bottle. So, how's it going? And, you know, we've been talking all night, and I bet you don't even remember my name. Sure I do, because I can actually say you're right, bye. Uh, no, absolutely I can. I'm guessing I get to name you now. You know what? Willow would be a lovely name for a lumberjack. Let's go for that. Okay, she's impressed that I remembered her name, so we're going to be getting ourselves a second drink. Marvellous. So, one second. I'll be right back, Willow. And uh, my partner has been picked. Absolutely flipping marvellous. And Okay, you're also eating dinner here with a cup of coffee. That's just spectacular, but... Aha! First, I need to go and use the bathroom, though. Ooh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Drop the beer for just one second. Yeah, I need to actually just grab... Uh, we grab this pool thing. Yes, we can. Ah, can we actually properly try and play pool here? And okay, there is some. Oh, 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 flipping genius at pool, mate. Right, okay. So now we just need to use the bathroom nice and quick. Probably close the door behind me. Just, you know, for privacy's sake and all of that. So here we go. Remove beer. Use the bathroom. And what the hell are you doing? And you're late and... Okay, I'm gonna be honest, Bobby. Things just got weird. The last thing I remember, I was in a bar, so I'm guessing I drank a lot because apparently now I'm supposed to be at a wedding. Right, so apparently this is my, uh, this is my wedding, and yep, yeah, there's bloody cousin Tina who's always on her bloody phone. Won't even get off her phone for my own wedding. Still, better than, you know, poor old cousin Beth who she doesn't even have a phone, but we just don't have the heart to tell her. How do I look? Um, amazing, but... Seriously, uh, how did we, how did we get here? I'm having a really weird damn day. And what happened? The vows. Okay, don't tell me 
And yeah, I've left them in the lobby. I will be right back. I promise I'm not standing you up. Here we go. We got ourselves an open door here. Right, Bobby, we're going. Just make a run for it, Bobby. Let's just flip it go. And hang on. Hang the flip. Ah! Um, okay. So I'm guessing what we're just doing is, you know, flashing forward through various important memories and I'm having a dream. But I like to assume that actually, no, this is all literally happening. I just got blackout drunk last night, woke up at a hospital where apparently I'm also getting married. But uh, this is also apparently the day that I'm guessing I'm meeting my illegitimate child that unfortunately I forgot to mention to Willow. But I have to kind of, you know, keep ducking out during the wedding service to go and hang out with the child for a day. So, uh, yes, this is all a little bit on the embarrassing side, but what can you do, eh? Hello, where's the little bundle of joy? Okay, the baby's in the crib apparently, so I can admire the... There's... There's nothing in this crib. Okay, the baby's either been stolen or my child is a trapezium. You must be so excited. Right, I'm guessing the trapezium is just my baby and uh, it's going to be a girl. I'm going to have a beautiful daughter and mine Willow's daughter shall be Tabby. Okay, so that's wedding day Willow over there and here's Willow on, I'm guessing, our first Christmas wearing a lovely, lovely warm jumper. Hello there, Christmas. Yes, Christmas day Willow. Listen, I don't want to fight about it anymore, and uh, me neither. Remind me, what were we fighting about again? Because sometimes I forget the details when I'm flashing back. Oh, and here presumably are my old friends, uh, Maggie, festive guest one and two. You're Bobby, aren't you? Yeah, Bobby's here. Can I punch Bobby in the face at Christmas? No, I'm not allowed to punch Bobby in the face. Boo. Can I speak to you though, Bobby? And uh, ho ho... Ho, how late are you? Yes, apparently, uh, I'm often very late. And we've been fighting about money again. Ah, but Bobby's got an idea about that. I'm guessing it's a bad idea. Hear me out. What have you got to say here, Bobby? I'm at a guy at the gun range. Okay, I don't... I don't trust this guy in the slightest. He's connected. Plenty of cash to throw around. Okay, so it's Bobby's fault I'm in debt to a dubious guy who's going to murder me. Doesn't sound shady at all, Bobby. All we gotta do is tweak the algorithm off the books. Oh, this is such a crime. Also, who's Maggie, precisely? Are you by any chance Willow's sister? Good to see you guys, it's been too long. And who precisely are you? You two should come over more often. Ah, you might be Bobby's wife. And maybe if you and Bobby didn't spend so much time at the range. Ah, so we're both gun enthusiasts, which I'm guessing could theoretically be useful if I'm about to get sucked into, you know, a life of crime. Right, so I'm guessing down the corridor is going to be, yes, the nemesis to our hubris. Am I going to be in prison? By any chance, did I spend a couple of years in prison and... Uh, yeah, how exactly did this go wrong? I'm guessing I'm about to walk into a court where I'm convicted for... A series of really bad crimes. Yes, Agent, I confess to everything. Morning, Joe. And... Yes, what have I... What have I done? Another day, another dollar. Ah, no, I need to actually commit the crime first. So, I'm gonna hack the terminal. He's gonna make sure there's no alarms. So, uh, alright. Door closed here. And me, I'm gonna begin some hacking. Oh, there we go. I'm uploading the data. The hack is complete. I'm a master hacker. I'll talk to Delroy. I'll be in touch about your cuts. Okay, so now, now we're going straight to court. I've seen some irresponsible stuff in my time, but this is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Okay, so I was immediately caught. I'm really sorry about this, Sydney. And spare me the excuses. Yeah, most definitely being caught. And yes, throw Bobby under the bus. It was 100% his idea. He was the one that raised this. And um, he threatened my family with like a double knife. Where there was like a knife on both ends of the handle. Yeah, that sounds good. Don't drag Bobby into this. Look, it was Bobby's idea. They want you gone right now. Okay, there's a box on your desk. Right, so I can't even throw Bobby under the bus. Well, if Bobby's not under the bus, he better bloody give me some money. I mean, quite frankly, I think it's a good job I'm only being fired. I was really expecting to go to prison for this. Oh, come on. You didn't actually need to write fired on the flipping box, all right? That was unnecessary. So, yeah, we're just gonna grab my things. 
and my coffee mug and my pen. Apparently I brought my own pen to work and my own stapler too and my own little lamp. So where the flip is Bobby? Because me and him have to have words. Then again, I suppose, yeah, I've basically walked into this one because I'm the one that did the illegal thing. Bobby was only making sure we didn't get caught, or rather, I didn't get caught doing it. So, if he did his job badly, technically, I'm the only person that committed a crime. So, okay, I've been... Oh, there you flipping are, you damn traitor. All right, need to meet up with him at the gun range tonight to straighten all of this out. Sure. And I'm guessing this is the gun range that evening, so uh, no sign of Bobby. So, uh, yeah, where's Bobby and who are you precisely? I'm Bruce, and Bobby's on a call. He'll be right back. Ah, um, by any chance are you a bad person? Is Bobby, like, dead and or missing? You're his old hunting buddy, and uh, want to take a few shots while you wait. Sure, okay, we'll do a quick combat tutorial for guns. Oh, and we're skipping straight to shotguns. Marvellous. So, okay. Just uh, get yourself nice and lined up. There's no, like, uh, aiming down sights or anything, which is going to make things a little bit on the tricky side. But whatever. It's a shotgun. You don't actually have to aim or anything. Just point vaguely in the right direction. It's fine. So, uh, yes. Shotguns. Good with them, apparently. Bob's in the back. Leave the gun. Follow me. Yeah, I don't... I don't trust you. And the shotgun I can't take with me, even if I wanted to. Yeah, I feel like we might be able to resolve some problems right now if I just were to uh, shoot. Oh, Bruce is level 50. Alright, maybe don't try and... Oh. Right, well that's... Mm. Bloody hell, that's... <laughs> that's a good twist. So, okay, I just murdered Bobby and... To be honest, I don't actually really mind that much. He was a dick who messed up and cost me my job, so... Okay, you just made me kill my best friend. That was... that was mean. And the thing is, uh, your fingerprints are on the gun. You killed him. Right, so this was all a setup, and now I need to something something for you. You don't cooperate, the police find your friend over there. The gun too. Okay, fair enough. Time for you to leave. And we'll be in touch. Right, so Bobby's very dead, and I now have to do whatever they tell me. And the game has begun properly, so... Uh, hey honey, you seemed really shaken up last night. Yeah, gonna be honest, rough day, darling. The dog said my wrist is definitely broken, but the house is a mess. Okay, so uh, I'll take care of it, that's fine. I've not been told I, like, you know, need to deliver a certain amount of money yet, so... Uh, I can just get on with cleaning the house, that's fine. Oh, and here's interesting. So, cleaning the cycling at the top left, if the house gets too dirty, it's game over. Time is stopped at home, but every chore you do advances time by 15 minutes. Pick up a chore sticky note to start cleaning up. So, okay, I'm guessing I have to, you know, not just survive, but also maintain my family. If the house gets too dirty, then I guess my wife just leaves me, which is a bit on the harsh side, but... What can you do, eh? Apparently, even though I've only just got out of bed, and I'm in my, you know, love heart pyjamas, I need to jump straight into flipping chores. So, there's also a little thing here. Oh, there's a cute dog toy and a thing. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so anytime I want to, I can sleep till the next day. I'm guessing I'm also going to have, like, a tiredness meter or something. Then we got ourselves, uh, yeah, main bedroom here. Then kids' bedroom here, including... Oh! The original NES, lovely, bloody sexy video game system right there. And we've got ourselves, oh, a beautiful back garden where I can play with little Tabby, who I'm guessing is now like several years old or something. I'm guessing time has uh, passed by. Then we've got ourselves bathroom over here with pre-run bath, spectacular. And uh, mirrors are for losers. No, instead where the mirror should be, we just keep a bit of abstract art, spectacular. Good shower here as well, in case I need to get myself clean. And there's the chore board. Okay, so, do the dishes, or kill the basement rats. Well, it wouldn't be a video game if you didn't begin by murdering the rats in the basement. Can I just go down to the basement and, like, find the rats to kill? Because I've still got... Yeah, I've got a mean hook on me. Bring it, rats, and... 
Okay, there's another NES down here. Possibly one per house should be enough, but whatever. It's this sort of financial irresponsibility that got me into this hole. And oh my goodness, we have a tabby and also a cat who is confusingly a tabby. Didn't realise that was going to happen, but hello there tabby, how are you doing? Why don't you go to work anymore? And yeah, sometimes it just doesn't work out and sometimes you shoot your friend with a shotgun. And oh, okay. Yep, fair enough. Tabby asking unusual questions. I'm going to pet the cat. Oh, keep petting the cat. Yes, infinite love from the... Hang on, there's... You can just overlay the various cat noises over each other. I'm going to be honest, that's the stuff of nightmares, but whatever. It's good that the cat provides infinite love. So, nice kitchen utility room, a hybrid thing right here. Kind of study basement, study study two as well. So yeah, this is like my my study room, possibly hers. Maybe she works from home. Well, then again, we know she's a lumberjack, so we know she doesn't. Then yeah, I've got myself a lovely uh, kind of entertaining room down over here. Okay, if we need money, I've got a solution, which is we just downsize. All right, right now we have got one kid and one cat. We could do with less rooms in this house. Okay, seriously. We just moved to a house with a slightly smaller main room and no basement. Maybe, yes, a small box room as an office. Slightly cut down the size of the garden. We could very easily make a lot of money just by downsizing. And I feel like I would not be putting my family in any hardship whatsoever. Like, you know, this is a good sized garden. I don't have a garden right now. Why does this guy get a garden? And also... Can I actually score a basket or whatever it's called in basketball? And whoop, yes. Turns I'm a genius at basketball. And we've also got, okay, no more satellite TV for anybody. You're just going to have to make do with however many channels you get as standards. Okay, if my choice is do the dishes or basement rats, let's start with the rats. That seems more like, you know, urgent. So, okay, mission complete. Time is going to presumably move forward. No, I need to actually go and kill said rats. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got my, oh, got my baseball bat. Right. Grab old baseball bat and just out you come, please. Out you flipping come. And dead. Oh, you got to catch them as they're coming along here. Where are you? Where are you, boss? I really should have changed out of my pajamas before doing this. Okay, so I've hit them with a baseball bat. The house gets happier. Job flipping done. Level two. Perk points acquired. Because yes, this is a proper RPG. So these ones only cost one point. These ones two, three, then five. Right to the top where I can slow down time. But more health, more melee damage. Or I could save them up. So yeah, if I go out at night, that'll cost me happiness. But less if I take that one. Jail time reduced to an hour if I get caught committing a crime. Illegal jobs pay more, that does sound useful. More XP for missions. And a taxi means I can trade money to travel places in town. Okay, you know what? I'm getting the feeling that sooner or later, I'm going to start punching people. So, yeah, having more health or more... Health is probably a good idea. Let's just get some health. Alright, having bonus health is never going to hurt. Also, do the dishes, because I may as well get the XP from doing all of the chores. So, here we go. Pick up plate, and pick up another plate, and pick up more plate, and now just pop them into the sink, and I wish dishes were that flipping easy. Ah, I need to do them one by one, so I was just putting them into my inventory, so next one, grab, wash, job done, and ah, that was 15 minutes, wow, that was 15 minutes per dish. Okay, that's very slow for dishwashing. Okay, Willow, what do you need me to do? Hmm. And thanks for cleaning up, honey. This darn hand is making life difficult. At least we have some food today. And uh, yes, indeed. We've still got some food in the fridge, but I'm going to need to make some money somewhere. And I'm guessing I'm going to need some to pay off the mob too. Oh dear. Um, so the nasty man who tricked me into killing Bobby is right outside my house. So, right, I'm guessing I owe you money. You pay up every day. Small amounts, manageable like. After 20 days, we'll call it square. You know what? I'm going to say yes, because why would I agree to that? Because if you don't, they're going to kill you, John. You're a bit slow to catch on on this one. So, fair enough. Just, like, don't come up to my family, please. 
just so you have complete clarity, any day you don't pay, it's game over for you. Right, figuratively and literally, gotcha. And Fridays you work for me, today try working at the burger bar in town for some cash. You're gonna need it, trust me. Okay, so yeah, you can just do normal, proper, legit jobs if you want to. And today I owe Bruce $50. So I need to find a way to make $50 before time runs out and bedtime is in, yeah, about eight hours. And if I don't, that's it. That's that's just the end of it. Hello, do you have a nice easy quest for me by any chance? And uh, morning, Joe. Sorry to hear about your job. Any chance you'd like to pay me some money to, like, kill some rats? Because I'm good at that. And this guy's trying out a new business model. People are always into these farmer's markets. They pay more for the authentic experience. Don't get much more authentic than this. So this is more expensive than in town. Ah! Okay, so there's a shop right next to my house, but it's going to be more pricey. I can get cheaper stuff if I run all the way into town. And if you see that troublemaker Jack, you tell him we need to have a chat about all this mess with Jesse and Bessie. $10 if I can find this guy's twin brother. So look for someone in town as looks like this. Okay, so into town, there's the burger place, there's some police, a guy standing mysteriously close to a police car, mechanic. Okay, let's just make ourselves some flipping money, but if you've got yourself an exclamation mark, you've earned yourself a conversation. We buy junk. Well, hey there, you're buying junk now, that's right, people sell me their junk. What counts as junk, by the way? If you smash up an object, you can get $5 and 100 XP. Okay, fair enough, I'll consider it anyway. Let's just go and, you know, get ourselves a nice job here. There we go. Mr. Burger Boss, welcome to the Tasty Recruitment Station. Are you considering joining our family? Yes, I would love to flip some burgers. Okay, so a shift here is $50 and 100 XP. It's enough to literally keep me alive today, but oh, I can make a little bit extra by skimming from the register. It's kind of a crime, but... I'm going to need more than the $50. That's enough to pay off the crime boss, but my family needs to eat sooner or later. And can't help but notice that Willow's, yeah, got herself a bit of a medical issue. She might have medical bills coming in. So, okay. I hate that place and the customers. In fact, ooh, you spit in their burgers, I'll pay you extra. Okay, $2 per burger spat in. Now... Yes, what's wrong with you precisely? I'm not going to say no, I will do it, absolutely. But what the bloody hell is wrong with you? I've got issues. And one last thing. Yes, any other chance for more money? Try not to get caught doing this stuff. Ah, okay. Gotta be careful. There are security cameras and they'll dock your pay. So I've got to do this when the cameras aren't looking at me. All right, head into the door behind me. Let's flip and go. Okay, this is fun. This is good stuff. Let's figure out what we're doing. So, uh, three hours. Oh, sorry, $50 for only three hours. And I get to skim some off the top. This is, that's not a bad wage. Okay, so now I'm in, now I'm in the kitchen. And must be tough working in a place like this. Look, it's fine. And do not steal right now. Hello? Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Work a shift at the burger bar. Uh, five, finish. Add, oh, bloody hell. Right, so, um, burger, yes, cook, and then that's, that's fine. And then add, add fries, uh, fries you have to, you have to wait. Oh, bloody hell. Right, you know what, let's just make enough now for everything. They, you know what, that's fine. It can just be a little bit, like, undercooked. And then, like, pull, pull that out and then put the fries over to... Would you like fries? Do you guys just want, like, fries and a burger? Is that, like, all you want? And then it's, like, put... Yes, then then one burger for you. Do we need to put that? No, that's the rubbish bin. Pop that down there. Uh, do you also want... I'm guessing you want, like, a... Uh, do you want ketchup? You don't want ketchup. Okay, you probably want... Ah, you want a drink. Okay. Uh, so, yes, make, make the drink and then grab the drink and then put that there and... Okay. So, um, the problem is I didn't serve any customers because it was my first day. Oh, I feel like Jimmy's going to break my knees. Okay, this is fine. Now I know what I'm doing and uh, don't forget, you still haven't paid up today. 
I know, I know, I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna work another shift and this time I'm actually gonna bother making some burgers, because I know what I'm doing. I've still got time. Okay, let's flip and make this happen. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's all we can fit on. Then one, two, uh, yeah, just prepare all the burgers. Two more of them. Uh, add that into here. Get you down over to there. And then, yes, uh, two more. One and two. And get a thing. And you want... Ah, you want a burger, fries, and a red. I see. I see what you want. So prepare, prepare a red. I need to prepare a red. Uh, one burger gets put right over there. And then uh, fries need to be put right over here. And then you want a, yes, you want a red drink. Oh, I've only got a, I've only got a blue. Uh, that was, yeah, that was zero because it was the wrong thing. Sorry about that. Okay, you want a burger, a blue, and a yellow. Okay, one blue, one ye yellow, 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 yeah, one yellow. And then you want a, a burger. Uh, well, I've got, I've got burgers. Burgers are fine, so you can have that. Where's the security camera? Does anyone know where the security camera is? Ah, screw it, just steal. Receive two money. Uh, you want two reds and a burger. That's, that's fine. Ah, the camera's over, the camera's over there, so I'm gonna be, I might be spotted. Uh, then, uh, a burger. Okay, and one more red, you said. Uh, there we go. This is a proper little game, actually. $13. Next promotion, serve more customers. Okay, so when you say $50, what you actually mean is it's $50 if I would be capable of serving all of the people. Um, which which it turns out I'm, I'm not because I've only got $35. And now bedtime's in an hour. Okay, so I failed immediately. I failed a flipping immediately. Mm. Um, hey, you... And yes, any chance you'd like to offer me a chance to like do some crime or something? I mean, I'd love some food. Fine, behind the cinema. You can pick up some great food uh, all for free. Ah, okay, so we can get food out of the bins. Lovely. Yes, here we go. So trash in the bins over here. And uh, in 30 minutes, it's about mm. to be bedtime. And yes, yes, I know you coming home for bedtime. I need my story. Oh, that's Tabby! I'm so sorry. Mission started, tuck your kid in bed. Yeah, well, that doesn't pay, Tabby. I'm very sorry. If you could pay me $15 to tuck you in, at that point, I can come and tuck you in. And between seven and eight. Okay, um, uh, I think we're, I think we're just about to, we're about to die. Okay, so when you say bedtime, not my bedtime, the kid's bedtime. Maybe there's a bit of money I can make in the nighttime economy. I'm not 100% sure. Bedtime is now. Get in the house and you haven't paid the mob yet. You sure you want to go home? Oh, I... Okay, so your mother's going to have to tuck you in. Uh, sorry about... Sorry about that. Um, okay, I've failed today. Let's figure out what else is going on in the world and how else I might be able to make a bit of money. You're back. How did it go? Uh, it was soul-destroying, and I didn't actually earn as much money as I was hoping for, to be honest. Well, you're one of us now. Take another shift whenever you like. Just walk back in. Okay, and here's a little bonus for covering my shift. Oh, and... Oh, that's why it was $50. Yes. Okay, you've got some dough. Okay, time to pay up for the day. Right, the $50 was a flat one-off. Okay, I'm not going to have my knees broken today. Yes, and I might even be able to tuck Tabby into bed. We've got to get home. We've got to get home. Ride the flip now. I've only got 20 minutes until Tabby's going to be really upset with me because I didn't tuck her in. So come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, just pay you off as fast as you can. Right, here you go. Best get to earning. I have. I have flipping done. Do I have to put it in here? Yes, I have to put it there. Okay, checkpoint. And there you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? But, um, yes it was, and I'm guessing tomorrow there won't just be a person handing me a free $50. And there's some morally questionable jobs you can do if you need cash. Okay, over on the pet store notice board. Right, I'm guessing you mean, you know, illegal, not so good for the town, but good for your wallet. Right, bad things might happen. The payment's gonna be higher tomorrow. Okay, oh, flip, get in the house, get in the house! Yes! I can tuck in my kid. Boom. Right, Tabby, I have made it home in time to tuck you in. 
There you go. What's the story tonight? And uh, tonight's story is about mice and how I murdered them with a baseball bat. And okay, I can stay in and that's good for my relationship with Willow, but... Yeah, I think I need to uh, explore the town a bit. I will be back sooner rather than later, I promise. And that is bad for my happiness because, yes, I've, uh, I've gone outside. So, okay. But we need to figure out what's going on where precisely. That's a newspaper. Local man Bobby Johnson goes missing. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What else do we have in town? There is... Ah! This will be where Willow works. Lovely. Aha! And I've found Jack. This guy's apparently Jack. So, are you Jack? Who's asking, yeah, uh, Joe Hawthorne, I live not far from here. And like your twin brother, who I swear looks nothing like you, was asking after you. Okay, so, Jesse and Bessie. That's who he was asking after. One works at the farm, one works at the market. So, that gets me to uh, level three. Talk to Jesse in the market and Bessie in the farm. And there's also... Okay, there's a glitchy raccoon thing. Hello, Mr. Raccoon, you're lovely. Uh, right, so we'll just sort of, uh, yeah, we'll see if they're still around. They might have gone to bed. So yeah, there is uh, shopping over here. There's going to be uh, somebody who works in this part of the world. Though, uh, yes, you're Daisy. Admittedly, I thought Jesse and Bessie were cows, but, uh, but maybe not. And then we got a little, oh, a little chicken coop over here. Lovely. You're just a level three chicken. Marvellous. Okay, so there's a food market in this direction that runs right into the evening, which is... Uh, Unusual, but whatever. Brian the Butcher. Jesse Rayner. Ah, yes, and Jesse. Mm. Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. Hello there. Want to buy something? No, I just wanted to meet you. So, there's some weird stuff involving Jack going on here. You must have heard how awesome he is. Uh, haven't heard that yet, but okay. You know, he's nice, attractive, good heart. Lumberjack, excellent job. And yeah, I'm guessing you and your sister are sort of uh, fighting over him a little bit. So yes, I've heard about you and your sister. She's jealous as all. Nothing more than that, I see. If you see him, tell him I said hi. So we've met one of them. Then we got ourselves a mechanic over here, who I'm guessing is going to, yes, at some point, uh, need money to repair my car. And yeah, there's a big old bit of countryside just uh, off the beaten path here, including... Oh, that's, that's, that's coming for me. That's coming for me. Right, back into town. Back into town. Do not be attacked by whatever that is. Hop. There you go, you stupid loser. Okay, so be careful. There's creatures that will, like, you know, charge you on the outskirts of town. That's no good at all. Ah, hang on. There's trash cans here. They've got health bars. So if I was to just, you know, do that, then picked up, aha, junk and private documents. Okay. Private document worth money in the right hands. So I can junk it, or I can potentially use it bill overdue. Okay, there's no... Don't throw it away. That might be valuable. We don't know who's, whose bill it is, though. So, okay, and there's... Ah! There's a food bank. Hello! Yes, I'm quite impoverished at this point. May I please have some free... No, I'm not giving you. I want to actually receive. And I'm guessing this is a way of improving the town, so... Do crime, town suffers. Do good things, like donating money, town does better. And my happiness is going down. It's getting very late right now. Okay, just grab some trash out of the bins round the back of... Hang on, could I wash a car by any chance? And I need to get home. You wash car, and I pay monies. And fast washing, more monies. Okay, um, I'm good, thanks. And mop good money. You fool! Okay, I'll return to you later. I need to get home, presumably before midnight. Still, I've made some money. I've got some trash I can turn into the trash guy. So I should be able to get home before I collapse. Three, two, one. Hammer at the... Darn it. Oh, my wife is going to be really annoyed at me. Okay, so her wrist still hurts. We're low on food. Could you pick something up? Right, so now I need to start finding food. Okay, your family is hungry. So that's not my hunger meter. That's, uh, yeah, the family's hunger meter. And I need to uh, clean up and pay Bruce too. But that's all. Okay, so now we're starting to balance. Now we're starting to balance meters. And $70, I've only got 45 As long as I'm in the house, time is not passing though. Okay, let's go. 
All right, let's speak to him about the illegal job. We should do one illegal job, just for the sake of tutorializing. Then we'll see what's going on in the world. So, also, what's in the, uh, what's in the paper today, local man? Okay, that was the news yesterday as well. So, I feel like, oh, blimey. Actions affect karma meter. Okay, so criminality and immoral choices will lower your karma, make the town suffer. But I might be able to offset that by, like, giving to the food bank, say. Yes, let's talk about these crimes, Bruce. And saw Bobby's wife around town. You two must have a lot to talk about. No. No, because I'm pretending, I'm pretending we're not. Don't you have a job to do? Well, you said, oh, yes, you mentioned there was on the board right here. So, ooh, Hitman mission. Well, that's a bit extreme. Let's just go for delivery here. So, dodgy delivery. Collect package. Where's the package? Man, I miss that Bobby guy. He was fun. Okay, do we know where the, the package is? Well, it's going to be one of the exclamation marks on the thing over here. Are you... Oh, you've got a mission. Hang on, I need to speak to... If you're, uh... No, no, don't, don't drop that. We need that. Hi, you must be Bessie, right? Yes, Bessie Rayner. So, Hrumpf says Bessie shouldn't be in this filth. Do you need a hand? I wish. And Dad says I need to learn to love the dirt. Good luck, Dan. Okay, so, ah, possibly I need to meet both of them the same day. That mission might just be not active anymore. Well, I've tried speaking to Bessie. The mission is active, but she's not doing anything right now. So possibly it's because I'm in the middle of a different mission. Right, I'm guessing you're the town priest or something. What do you want? No, this guy's an author. I'm in Riverport writing my latest book. Lost all the pages, though. The wind has a mind of its own. Be mighty helpful if you found them for me. $10 for a lost page. Ooh. $10 is not much for a thing I might just find anyway. Okay, so try and find lost pages if you can. Hello over there, what have you got for me? Okay, so Kyle's got a problem. Mama's giving me a hard time, always going on about these chores I should be doing, saying I'm a lazy waste of space, and yeah, you probably should be doing your chores actually. Whose side you on, Joe? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Heard you might be short on cash, you help me. I throw a little moolah your way. So, I can do chores at home to make my house tidy, or chores for this guy for money instead. Got a rabbit problem in the backyard. $30 for... Ooh. I'm gonna be honest, use a cage or a baseball bat. Yeah, I can deal with that. Flipping done. Yeah, absolutely. There's a bat and a cage by the car. Either way, it's your call. Okay, but if I actually kill them, then... Logically, I might be able to feed my family with the rabbits. So, okay. Here you come in. It's a little... Yes, defenseless rabbit! Well, if they're too stupid to run away, they really deserve this. Right, well, that's nice and simple. Can I keep the bats, by the way? I'd love to keep the bats. And there we go. 300 XP and, even better, money. Not enough money yet, but... Hello, you're Maggie, aren't you? And, oh, that was... Okay, my karma just went down because... I didn't catch the rabbits, I murdered them. That was apparently morally bad. Joe, I'm beside myself with worry, and uh, yeah, you know what? You should probably just move on. He was a dick, to be honest. No, I refuse. Excellent. We have to do something, anything. What could we do? So far, the police have been useless. There are these stupid music flies up all over town. We could take them down and replace them with missing posters. Replace three music flies and she'll give me $10 and some XP. You know what? Let's make that happen. So, uh, I don't know where these flies are, but I'm guessing that's one there, right? So, yeah, this is nice and easy. Replace Bobby. There's another one right there. This isn't a crime, presumably. And just replace that too. Just be on the lookout for more of them. There'll be another one somewhere. Right, junk man, I've got some junk for you. There you go. Found some. And now I can get started. You want to sell that junk? 100%. Here you go. Yes, I can now pay my bills. And uh, hello there. You're a politician. And uh, what's your deal? Kind of busy right now. And I will stand for the people, but not this particular person, obviously. Okay, and we've got... Ah, by any chance are you dodgy delivery man? I'm Lawrence. I work at Mason and Vane. So you're... Ah, you work at the bank. One of the good ones, honest. Oh, that's something the bad ones would say. So anyway, the cafe in town, there's a girl that works there, Sally. I'll cut to the chase, I'm pretty in love with her. So, 
Yeah, why aren't you going and hanging out with her then? Technically, we've never met. This does not seem healthy at all. And it's all part of the plan. I just need some insight and some recon. Just go in there casually, dig into what she likes. $25. I mean, how creepy is that really? I mean, it is creepy, but it's not illegal. The fact that he would know what she's interested in, like, if he's a weirdo, she'll figure it out pretty fast, probably. Uh, no, this one's too, this one's too weird and creepy for me. No, I'm not doing it. Sorry, not happening. Stop wasting my time then. Okay, then we got ourselves a lovely beach down over here. Okay, it's already noon. I do have enough money, but I should really try and bank some extra money for, you know, tomorrow as well. Don't get into decks. I've got a bit of surplus right now. And also, yes, I need food. Now, they did say behind the, behind the bins over here. Aha. There is some lovely pizza. Mm. And, oh, hey there. Are you the same guy I beat up all those years ago? Give me $20. And, hang on, what? If you don't, I'm going to kick your ass. And uh, take it anyway. You know what? How about me and you have a good fight? So now he's going to come round to... Uh-oh. My kind of... Kind of... I'm, I'm, I'm glitched into a bed. Okay, just, just get the bat out. Now just desperately try and... Okay, you know what? Screw you. Heads up. Engaging in criminal activity will result in the police arresting you. I'm gonna be honest. Like, he really started this, actually. Okay, so now... Did the police actually... Did the police see that? And can I loot his corpse? So, now he's dead... And you're the woman I didn't marry from the bar. That's lovely. Right, so we'll be having this. It's it's not spectacular, but like, it's food. It's a slice of pizza. We can all share one slice of pizza together. It's going to be great. And even better, we got ourselves, yeah, the final poster here. So, Lost Cause has been updated. Do I get the money immediately or do I need to? No, I do need to return to Maggie. Uh... Before I do that, I want to work one shift with the car wash. See how much money that makes me. Get mop. And now, uh, dirt patch? Or do we... Ah, okay, yes. Yeah, so we just hold... We just hold X. We don't actually need to do any of that. There appears to be blood on this car. But, you know what? I'm willing to... Oh, this is... That's $2. Then again, I hardly made much money flipping burgers. Because, you know, it's not supposed to be. And this might not be blood. This might not be blood because, you know, it's a red car. It could just be dirt that's got a bit of a tint on it. You know what? I'm I'm done with you, actually. So I can just wash cars for $2 a piece. Next up, Maggie. Let's turn in the quest to her. She's going to pay me $10, which is great. So, uh, hello there, Maggie. So you got the posters up? Yes, indeed, I did. Maybe somebody will call. Thanks for the help, Joe. You're a good friend. I really am, but, like, don't get your hopes up. Yeah, really don't. Dodgy delivery. Collect the package. This one's a big one. So it is... It's over here. All right, I need to know where it is uh, in order to begin. So I've set that as the active quest. Don't worry about junk. So, yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can earn money. You can do the burger flipping, which feels like the most complex, but potentially there's the most money in it if you get it right. So, uh, over here, and pick up the weird package. This is Puppy Tears. Okay, needs to be delivered over to uh, way over here. Okay, out in the middle of nowhere beyond the food bank. So, I'm literally drug running at the minute, which is, you know, it's better than murder. Rotten pizza, we probably shouldn't eat this. Ah! So that's going to negatively impact happiness and health, but it will fill up food. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to keep it, but I'm not actually going to feed my family it for now. Instead, what we're going to do is figure out the prices. So meat is $60. Okay, carrots, $20. Donuts, $50. Okay, inflation has wreaked flipping havoc here. Um, okay. Potter plants. Uh, how much, like, do you cost? What do you do? Got apples for 20 oranges. Okay, I'm going to pick up one apple. Do I have to pay for that or do I just auto pay that? I'm going to grab this, this orange too. And yes, you just auto pay as you pick it up. Gotcha. Ah, here's interesting. So random villagers who aren't actually named, what I can do is just speak to them. 
So it costs 15 minutes, but it boosts karma because I'm just, you know, spending time getting to know people. And what we're gonna do is on my way back to tuck in Tabby, I am going to drop the apple, which is the cheap thing, into the food bank. All right, I'm gonna try and do this all properly like. So here we go, the only except. Ah, hang on, I think I just need to have this in hand. There we go, I've given them the awful pizza. And that actually just got me bonus karma, meaning I can give my family the fresh fruit. Okay, we are in good flipping shape, though I'm getting a bit on the, the tired and the hungry side. Okay, but I can put food in the fridge, everything will be fine. We're going to take ourselves an orange, and we're going to pop it in the fridge. Health is ticking up, family food is ticking up. That's going to increase health too, we're going to pop that in there as well. Okay, not spectacular, but it'll do. I have provided food for my family. Though the state of my house is going down, so I guess I need to do some uh, some chores. So, uh, clean the hallway. So, uh, dirty stains. Do I need to actually find myself uh, a brush? I need to use mop. Okay, does anybody know where the mop is? Ah, right here in the hallway. Good. So, we're just going to do that. I'm going to be honest. Could we maybe get Tabby, who doesn't seem to go to school or anything, to do... At least some chores. Just like, you know, really small chores. And now, uh, now it's 7.30. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the kid to bed. Because I can do that. Then I myself will go to bed. I'm going to stay in with the wife. Because I went out last night and that was rude. So mm. there you go, darling. I love you. Okay, okay, okay. I've got some bad news. Please don't be pregnant. We could really not do with that right now. Kiddo was sick in the night, could do with some medicine. Okay, so now, now I've got to provide food and medicine and pay my debts. Good, 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 good. Everything's fine. The pharmacy by the beach. Keep an eye on them. I don't know how much that's going to cost, but I'm guessing it's bad. If I let my house get too dirty or I feed my family junk food, their health goes down. And that's going to cause problems. Food or pills in the fridge. So healthy food will get them better. We don't have to use medicine. We could just give them oranges. Vitamin C is good for health too. If it turns out that, yeah, it's a bit too um expensive. Okay, we should probably try and, like, you know, clean up the house a bit. So uh, dishes or dirty clothes. Okay, I'm going to start today by doing that business. Though apparently you've got something for me too. The kid needs some help making a monster. Find some cardboard in town. Okay, I will try and do that, given you're going to pay me $10 to do it. Okay, so presumably, the dirty clothes are going to be located in either a laundry basket that's in here, or they're going to be in either or both of the... Hang on, was that, was that something over there? No, that was a pile of NES cartridges. Ah, they're literally just in the living room for some reason. And please stop pushing me, Tabby. Right. Let's get the dirty stuff, shove it in here, because you're less likely to get sick in the event that I, like, you know, clean stuff. So we'll just pop that in there, and in you go. And that gets me to level four. It cheers up the house a bit. Hunger is still a bit of a problem, but I do now have, yes, some beautiful, beautiful perk points, including enough perk points to take a level two perk. So, uh, no, not a taxi. More XP from missions. Illegal jobs pay more. I mean, if you think about it, if I made a bunch of money, a huge pile of money from doing illegal work, then I could just use that money to buy food to donate to the food bank. And I'd also have more time to do good things for the town. So, hmm. You know what? Going out at night is going to make me a lot of opportunities. Yeah, we're going to slip out at night, so my wife's not going to mind as much going forward. I need $40 just to balance the books so my legs don't get broken. And then beyond that, we need more food for the house and, ideally, medicine. Oh, and it is a grim old day today. The town seems more miserable. Yes, because I've been doing bad karma things. So, uh, Hitman mission, uh, delivery mission. The delivery mission is supposedly a bit bad for the town, but oh, bloody hell. Okay, leave that, leave that for now. Let's just see what else is going on in the world. Hello, who are you and how can I help you? 
I'm a researcher, I kill animals so I can study them. Okay, you don't enjoy studying them alive then. They move too much. You're not a very good researcher, got it. Have a list of creatures. Want to help me out? Sure, I can kill living things. If it's for science and a researcher, it's legit and not evil. There are ducks that show up in the day down by the river. So, put three dead ducks in his crate. It's only $10 to be perfectly honest. Okay, I will consider it. Anyway. Oh, hello over there. Um, I think I might be being mugged right now. And uh, hand over your cash right now. Um, excuse me, police officer on the bridge right next to me. Uh, I'm being mugged. Okay, this is kind of my fault, isn't it? I made the town a worse place by committing crime and facilitating the drug trade. And now I'm going to be mugged. You know what? I think I'll keep it. Not an option, asshat, hands Tova. And, no, I'm good, actually. And you asked for this. And, oh, excuse me. No, get, get, it, get out of the way, Maggie. Maggie, seriously, get out of the cocking way. And where's my, where's my baseball bat? Well, this is unfortunate. I seem to have dropped my... Oh, I just dropped it. Okay, I really need that, actually. And grab it. Seriously. Okay, so now, now it's up to me and you, Mr. Maggie, please get out of the way. Oh, screw. Oh, he's, he's tougher. He's level seven. Get him. Get him. Down you go. He attacked me. Not my fault. So can I actually have a can I have a knife bunny chance? No? Okay. So yes, there's gonna be criminals in town. You are cocking useless. Anyway, time's getting away from me. Haven't actually Ooh! You! You offer me good jobs. Okay, I will gladly do a job for money with you. You're nice and easy. This time it's the king rabbit, probably pretty big. And twenty dollars. Track the giant rabbit. Okay, this is fine. This is A-OK. -okay. If you kill it, there's bound to be plenty of meat. Okay, now this, this I can do. Meat is a good thing, so... King rabbits. I mean... I see here. Aha! So there's, there's tracks here. Then they turn in this direction. In this direction, I see more over... Over here. Over here. Over here. It's taking me out of town right now, but I've got my baseball bat. And more in this direction. There's a, it's just a tower here for some reason. Okay, wait, wait. There's oh, oh, I see you, I see you. Right, get him, get him, get him, and meat. Boom, got meat for my family. Can I climb this tower, by the way? No, tragically, I can't. Karma goes, karma goes down. Well, technically, I murdered something, but hello, you're new. What's your deal precisely? The mayor wants to chat. Okay. Bruce mentioned you. This isn't an invitation. Meet the mayor at his house. And Bruce mentioned this. Okay. Residents on the hill are overlooking the town. Right. I'm guessing he's very dodgy. Oh, this is well out of the bloody way too. Okay. While I'm passing by, how much does medicine cost? FYI. Pills. $50. For plus three to health. Honestly, that's not that bad, but you might have to make do. Then again, oranges cost that much anyway. You know what? We're going to do it. We're just going to get a small, a small thing of pills. All right. Just enough to tide us over. Seriously, Mr. Mayor, it has taken me like an hour to walk to your stupid house. Oh, la -dee da with fountains and everything. Right. So. Me and you better have some really important business. Nice view, though. I'm not going to deny that's a really nice view. And is that, a, is that a ski resort over there? That's nice. See the view? Yes, indeed. It's quite nice. I built this place from the ground up. Riverport was just a two-bit town back when I took over. I'm going to be honest. It's still pretty small and pathetic, but whatever. So Grace lives down by the coast road. You can see her house from here. Used to be the school art teacher. These days, she's a sculptor. Hides her a few years back to make something for the beach. And yeah, she's resisting progress, apparently. There's some land I need. Her house happens to be on it. And what do you want to do? The Riverport Fishing Company. Going to be the most profitable business the town has ever seen. Okay. Profitable for you. You got something against money, Joe? No, I love money. Split it with me. You got a deal. A hundred dollars. Going to be honest, that's, that's pretty good. Get signature on the document for Grace's land. So, uh, possibly I could threaten her. Or, I could get her to sell up legit. Okay, I'm willing to agree to this. Because, it's not like we're robbing her of the land. 
All we're doing is persuading her to sell. She will actually be... Oh. If she won't sign, fake it. Okay, at that point we're committing a crime, yes. Also, can I just take a shortcut down these rocks? Yes, I can take a shortcut back down from the mayor's house. Full damage doesn't really seem to be a, a problem. Okay, three hours to go, nowhere near enough money. And food is, oh, food is getting a problem, actually. Well, I do have meat to put into the thing, but I need to buy, I need to buy more food. Well, you're paying money in order to be a creep, but... Okay, Grace, me and you need to talk. I'm really sorry about this. Can I help you, young man? Yeah, really need you to sell your lands. And ain't signing anything. You want to see my signature? You buy some of my work. Okay, you bet. That big old sculpture on the beach, it's one of mine. Shame my hands don't work like they used to. Okay, so... How much does the sculpture cost? If it's like $50, I still make a $50 profit for doing this. And if he's got you doing his dirty work, there's something about you. Okay, you could convince him I ain't worth the trouble. But how much are you paying me to do that? This is about right and wrong. Oh, that'll probably be a massive increase in town morality. But I don't take sides, I just want money. Okay, uh, the sculpture... Sculpture on the beach you just mentioned. You just said you want me to, like, buy a sculpture on the beach. How much is it gonna... How much would that cost, in theory? Also, my house cleanliness is in the toilet. And my family hasn't eaten recently. Could I just take berries by any chance? Do I just get, like, a O-flip? Yes! Okay, I can scavenge. I can just scavenge out in the wilds. Okay, well, this is... This is good. This is very good. Uh, okay. I've only got... Two hours until Tabby wants to go to bed. My family is hungry. I don't have enough money to, like, you know, not die. Yeah, the only alternative is that she wants me to talk to the mayor to talk him out of trying to move her on. But there's no money in that. It's good for karma. Nothing else. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I've got myself... Yeah, I've got plenty of food now. All this food, my family will be well fed, but the house is a mess. The priority right now is I need to make some money fast in the next hour and a half. It might be time for me to take on the assassination mission. And I'm guessing that, yes, that graffiti appears because... Oh, yes. Hang on. You, ducks. Right. Just just, just chill out for one second, Jet. Yeah, we'll just be taking dead duck. Dead duck. That guy was willing to pay for ducks. Now, this isn't bad for the town because... The guy said he wanted some ducks. And yes, I've gone to see your guy. There is... There's definitely more graffiti starting to show up. Yes, 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 I'm working on it. Okay, guy needs to be given his ducks. And assassination needs to be done at night. Actually, I don't need to pay during the day. As long as it's done before I collapse at midnight. Before midnight is fine. There we go. Ducks by daylight. You, my friend, I have done what you wanted. So, 100 XP, time for bed. Yes, I'm I'm doing it, darling. I will be there very soon. I'm guessing it's really bad for your house if you, uh, you know, don't show up for the kids' bedtime. Okay, my house is a mess right now. This is, do not drop that. That's really important. I keep doing that by mistake. This is fine, but I've got to go out afterwards. But I took the perk for that, so it shouldn't be a problem. Wait, you haven't paid the mob today. Uh-oh. You need to do that. You need to do that now? Oh, dear. Um, okay, I need to whack somebody, like, in the next few minutes. So, yep, yeah, um, this is, this is fine. Uh, so, Hitman, murder Hayden Braber, that's worth $80. Do we know where he is? He's only 100 meters in that direction. Alright, I can, I can make it there and back in the next hour. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's fine. Alright, you just stay on this bridge, Mr. Police Officer. Don't mind me, I'm just taking a baseball bat for a walk. Okay, everything's, everything's fine, and he's, I'm gonna be honest, he's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, but did anyone, did anyone see that? Yeah, that's really bad for, for karma. But, like, what I've got to do now is very quickly drop off the money, and then it's all going to be fine. Everything's under control. Okay, my family is going to be able to eat, and when I say that, the food beach is almost empty. Okay, I've got 20 minutes, so I've got the money. Shove money in safe. There we go. Debt is cleared. I've survived today. And I have brought you guys so, so much food. 
All right, there you go. There's some food. And I went and got medicine for little Tabby as well. So that goes in the fridge. If anything, that might have been overkill. And also, I managed to get some, you know, berries sorted out. And nails. You can't eat them, but, you know, whatever. Um, okay. The problem right now, the biggest issue is... It's the house. The house is a mess, and also people are slightly hungry. So I kind of need to do the... The chores. So... Okay. I'm going to tuck in Tabby and then I'm going to go out. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do the chores instead. Okay. House happiness is really, really low. Possibly I could have paid... Oh, is there just more... Is there just more assassinating to be done? Could I just keep assassinating people over and over again? I mean, that would logically be... Okay, no. No. Just one murder. Just one murder. No more. Also, Tabby said she wanted cardboard. So the bins in town might have some of that. But yeah, I need to get home in time to actually do some business with tidying up the house. Because apparently it is so much of a mess, my wife is on the verge of leaving me. She could do some of the chores herself, or Tabby could. But no, everything needs to be done by me. Now, the kid did say dumpsters. Yes, here we go. The dumpsters around the back of town and... Oh. Are you a prostitute by any chance? Nope, this is just a generic trade time for karma person. So, we're just going to uh, stay out of your way. That's fine. And then... Rotten pizza. That's... That's okay. Aha! That's... That's cardboard, isn't it? Yep, there we go. There's cardboard. And on top of that, the rotten pizza seems to regenerate every day. But it does count as food... For the purposes of the food bank. So I am going to give this rotten alleyway pizza to the food bank. Do that every single day. That's pretty good. Okay, we're coming up on 11pm. So the important thing I need to do now is go home with the cardboard. Remember to give that to Tabby first thing tomorrow morning. Do not murder anybody. Instead, yeah, do the chores. Because the house is almost collapsed. Okay, 100 XP... It's 11.30, and I'm not allowed to do any more chores. But, at the bare minimum, the house is it's not about to collapse immediately. Okay, darling, what terrible news do you have today? And the kid wants us to play a game together. Been asking for days. Okay, the money's not looking so bad today, actually. It's not been looking terrible. So your family has a happiness bar, which is... I'm gonna be honest, it's been looking... Just fine. Feed them good food. Keep the house clean. Okay, and $110. Bloody hell. That's, that just goes up $20 every day, doesn't it? Okay, that's that's a concern. So, day four. As I understand it, you've got to survive for 20 days. So, okay. The priority is not the board game. The happiness level is fine. Instead, what we need to do is... Uh, prioritize the chores. I'm just going to do both chores straight away. Basement rats have been taken care of. That moves time on. Instead, I need to clear the garden weeds. That's fine. Seriously, we could just... We're not playing Monopoly. All right, if it were a better game, we might play that. But I'm not playing Monopoly. Seven Wonders, Galaxy Trucker, Archipelago. Absolutely fine. Not playing flipping Monopoly, though. So the biggest problem we face right now is... Uh, one, money... And two... Oh, yes, hang on. You've got cardboard. I've literally got your cardboard, Tabby. It's... It's right here. It's right here, Tabby. Okay, sometimes the game seems to slightly bug out. Like, say, the very first quest I got where it was, yes, Jesse and Bessie. I've spoken to Bessie multiple times. The game won't register it. I think the problem might be if you don't complete a quest on the same day you're given it. It seems to break a bit. So there are a handful of bugs that need to be sorted out here. And then we've got ourselves. I remember you. Your name's Birch. You worked at the same office as me. So this guy wants his billboard painting. Honestly, $20? That works for me. It's on top of the barber shop. Make sure you get my good side. Okay. Honestly, $20 just do a little bit of uh, painting. That's, that's good. So hang on. Zero out of six. Aha. So, up here. Uh, how do I get up there? Is the way I get up there, like, you know, a ladder? And if so, could I use the same ladder to maybe... Aha! There's a proper little ladder here. 
Okay, hop up to here, onto the roof, and paint. I need to use paintbrush. I'm guessing we got ourselves... Aha! One paintbrush. Okay, this is going to take... Does this actually take time? No, this is instant. Alright, so we're just going to do this. So, Bert up life. Bert up your life. So... He is a CEO, he's good at racquetball, he's modest, and he's awesome! Okay, can I just jump down without taking damage? Yes, yes I can, marvellous. I'll be taking $20 now. Okay, so $106 out of 110 that I need. Uh, I've still got plenty of time, so I am going to work a legitimate job. Alright, I'm not going to go... Okay, well I'm going to punch this bin apart. But like, I'm not going to go committing crimes. Today, no crime. No crime whatsoever. Sell some junk, then I'm going to go work in the burger place. And now we know what we're doing. Now we know what we're doing. So, yeah, just get the patties onto the thing. Get the fries on. You want two burgers and a yellow. Well, the burgers are still happening. So, just have a yellow right over there. And then uh, two burgers. I have to actually give you one a time. Okay, well, this is an annoying order. Right, you at the back. There you go. Also, is the camera... The camera is on me right now. I need to wait for the camera to not be on me. Uh, a blue and a yellow. Right, we can have a, a blue. And I will steal some... The camera's back on me there. Darn it. There's only a split second when it's not on you. You can tell from the, the light. And you also want a... Uh, burger. Uh, okay. And then you want two blues. Okay, there we go. Blue number one. And then a blue number two. And then grab it. I got two dollars before the camera saw me. Uh, and then you want some fries. Uh, fries is fine. Uh, fries and fries. That's your final order. Okay, so $16. And I might get a promotion if I keep doing this. So $16 for three hours is... It's kind of terrible. It's kind of terrible. Still, at least now, yes, the wage makes a bit more sense. But if I keep doing it, and I keep stealing a bit extra, then at least... Okay, I've got two and a half hours left to go. Don't forget the things you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis, which is, one, I can keep my family fed through wild berries. Two, this pizza always keeps regenerating, and also there's more cardboard, so... Maybe it needs to be cardboard you've picked up the same day. Not 100% sure. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, take the rotten pizza and shove it in the food bank. Because that counts as a morally good thing to do. Now, I've got... Have I got any food to give to my family right now? Two red berries. And don't drop them. Pick it up again. Uh, okay. It's not exactly spectacular. Really? No. No, it is not. Um... And I can just afford to pay my way today. Just. Mm. And I don't care, Maggie. He's so dead. I'm just going to break your trash can, by the way. There might be some good stuff going on. Oh, hello. That's a gold watch. Holy flip. Okay. And don't forget to pick up some berries. And I need to get home before 7 so I can give him the cardboard the same day I got it. But that is blueberries. Oh, guys, we get a choice of berries tonight. Seriously. Oh, blueberries is good for health. Okay, this, this is good, all right? Today has been a good day. I haven't committed any crimes. There you go. So you've got to give them the cardboard the same day you picked it up. And would I like you to make a robot, a vampire, or a blobble? Robot. Robots are cool. And what colour should it be? Should be purple, but that's not an option. So I guess we'll say blue. And it's going to look so cool. What should we name this robot? It should be Trunkstorm. That's a great name. And what mythical creature should this blue robot Trunkstorm be? Okay. Uh, dragon. Robot Dragon. Marvellous. I'll put him in the hall for everyone to see. Oh my goodness, it's Trunkston the Robot Dragon. I'm going to be honest, it, it doesn't look anything like a dragon. You've let me down. We will be a family forever. Until my kneecaps get blown off, yes. Okay, my scavenging should be worth, oh my. That gold watch is actually worth a fortune. Okay, so I think that was just a really lucky spawn here. And the blueberries will keep you all nice and healthy. Then there's all these berries as well. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is... 
this is good. The house is a bit of a mess, uh, which is going to cause, yeah, that's going to cause health to go down faster. But at least food is good. We've moved over to primarily a berry-based diet, but what can you do, eh? Jeff, I were to, uh, if I was to do myself some, uh, some chores now, I could squeeze in one chore before it's bedtime for the kids. Then again, I should really actually, uh, yeah, very quickly just go and pay for the day. But I might be able to get both bits of work done, then tuck in the kid, then... Oh, no, it's too late to do any more chores now. That's a shame. Okay, do bedtime, go straight to bed. This is fine. This has been a good day for us. He did say on Friday, yeah, I was going to do some work for him specifically. So, no payment, but yeah... We need to go and do a special, special job. Still, on the plus side, don't need to take care of anything else, so that's nice. And uh, may as well do the chores while I'm actually on the way out. Look at that. Just for once, everything is spectacular. Everything's in the green. I've already paid our debts for today. Everything is lovely. Okay, so I'm guessing that you want me to... Uh, clean this up. Right, it's all gone a bit indigo prophecy. Okay, technically, I please stop opening the door. Please just, just stop. Please stop opening the door while I'm here. Alright, just, just close, close the door. Close the, close the door. Close the, there are so, so many witnesses to, never mind, the door won't close. Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna mop up this blood and hopefully no one is gonna come and see this. Alright, this isn't murder. Cleaning up after a murder is, well, it's still a crime. It's not as bad as murder, though. Oh, and apparently that just took all day. Oh, but that means <gasps> I didn't tuck Tabby in. Aha, so Sunday counts as a day of rest. Even mobsters don't work on Sunday. So uh, today's the weekend. We now begin the next week. And I'm guessing, yeah, things are about to get much harder. That was just the tutorial week. And even then, that was dicey on occasion. $130. Okay, this is, this is fine. This is 100% fine. I've got a plan. The house is in good shape. Tabby, what do you need? Oh, Uncle Jerry bought you a slide. That's lovely. Can you make it for me? $1, but 100 XP. Okay, I will, I will consider it. Maybe later. Not just yet. All right, I've got important things to do today, like not dying. In fact, actually, we've got ourselves... Hang on, this is this is interesting. We've got a mission from... Who lives over here, precisely? That's not the priest. That's that's beyond the priest. Okay, there's, there's no berries on those bushes. Uh, so no benefit there. Okay, there's... There's just a whole bit of the map I haven't really been to before. Okay, this is fine, because I've got the gold watch and... Ah! The diner. Okay, this is where the diner is. Gotcha. So the research is out here today. What do you need killing? Is it fish by any chance? No, he wants wolf teeth. Okay, only $10 for taking out wolves. That's... That's gonna be a problem. Because... I'm really sorry, but no, I'm not going after wolves. That's... That's that's unacceptable. Bye. Though so there is an ore vein right here. Okay, it's all gonna be Minecraft here. Just junk rocks. Okay, well, I won't say no. Still, we now know what's in this direction. This is where the diner is, why we hadn't seen it before. Okay, I've got a plan today. I've got a really good plan, which is, uh, number one, that's gold watch. And the rocks are actually pretty good too. Uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Now we're swimming in money. That means I've got time to work two shifts at Tasty Burger. All right, get the burgers on the griddle. Get some fries. Cook him, please. You want... Oh, you want nothing but sodas. That's kind of annoying because they're, they're one at a time and I could have just grabbed $2 there but missed my chance. You need to be very quick. And then red and then red. There you go. That was $7. Boom. And grab that. $2. Okay, uh, yellow, yellow. And Okay, no one actually wants to, like, have you know, any actual food today, apparently, and yellow is just what you want, you're just here for drinks, there's $8, there's another $2 for me, this is good, and 
Blue double fries. Uh, okay, no one, no one wanted a burger today. Uh, okay, just shove you to there. There's your first set of fries. There's your second set of fries. And there's another. And I might actually be able to squeeze in another order here. Yellow and blue and one burger. Okay, I'm good at this. I'm flipping good at this. And then, no, hang on, sorry, fries, not burgers. Still nobody wants any flipping uh, burgers today. And final order. Wow, got in five today. That's a yellow and a blue. And is that the first burger of the day? It is as well. Remarkable. Okay, so if you're fast enough, you can squeeze in more orders and make more... Oh, those are, those are a bit on the burnt side. Sorry about that. And look at that. $38. And I get my promotion. Okay, I am now a burger boy. Yes, presumably that means I make more money. Okay, so... Actually, you can seriously play this game by just working a job if that's what you want to do. That's amazing. Okay, we're getting back in there now. I've just been promoters. Forty-six dollars. So yeah, it's a 1.2 multiplier for my Burger Boy job. Oh, this is, this is actually working. All right, I have, I am earning money like crazy. In fact, you know what that flipping means? We're going to the market. All right, I'm actually going to buy food for my family. Yeah, one orange. It's it's not much, but you know, it, it's a thing. And I've still got 146 to go. So what we're gonna do actually is, uh, nip around over here, get myself the rotten pizza. Everybody loves uh, the rotten pizza. And we're just gonna pop that straight into the food bag. That feels like an exploit. <laughs> Gonna be honest, it feels like a thing you shouldn't be allowed to do, but, you know, you can. I haven't actually hurt the town for some time at this point. So also there's more bins back over here, including, is that a page for what's-his-face? That's a page for what's-his-face. Yes, I have found one of the pages. Okay, return that to the author by uh, the church. As long as you do it the same day, that should be fine. Then I can be home early to do some chores, put the slider Oh. It turns out I am a very good family man. Also, I would like another gold watch, please. And, no, today, just trash. So, 100 XP and some money for turning in page number one. Have you got more rabbits around the back, by any chance? Your mother wants some moonshine. I need blueberries. They grow up by the waterfall. Okay. Fair enough. Mm. So, blueberries and it's getting late, honey. Yes, I'm, I'm on my way back right now. By which I mean I just need to help some random guy. Actually, no, don't do it now. Because if you do it now, they won't count towards it tomorrow, potentially. Instead, what we want to do is try and build, yeah, the slide. But yes, we need to, okay, make the top sharp bit, yellow bit, plank. I have no idea, weird piece. Oh, dear. Um, sharp bit goes... Somewhere. I need to use weird piece. Okay, where's weird piece? We're going to build this thing. So weird piece goes here. Maybe the top. And that is... Okay, plank needs to go next. Right here. This isn't actually using up time, which is great. Okay, I'm going to be honest. This looks catastrophically dangerous. But we have done it, so sure. So yes, beginning of a brand new day, waterfall, blueberries, that's what you wanted. That's not too far out of the way. And because it's two blueberries per bush, I will actually have a spare once we're done. But while I'm over here, okay, what's up at this end of the town beyond the, you know, terrifying wild boar that tries to attack you? Because uh, not 100% sure what this place... Ah, okay, can't get past here. We've had a rock slide. So I'm guessing that's going to open up later in the game right there. And in the meantime, there's a lovely... There's a lovely area up here. Can I break this? No, I can't break that. Okay, there's... There's got to be something good up here, right? There's some reason to come up here, surely. I mean, if I choose to take on the mob, this could be... Aha! There's a page. A page of Watts' face's book. But I should also be able to just... Yep! Go straight down here and... Another page too. Right, so we're picking up pages fast now. Okay, there's an influencer on the beach who's willing to give me 500 XP and $150 
if I just attack somebody on the beach so she can film it in the hope it'll go viral. You know what? That's, that's a really, really good deal. All right, you stupid losers. I'm level six, you're level four, so we're just gonna knock you that flip down. And there we go. I really hope that you just saw this, by the way. Yeah, that was bad for, for the karma of the town, apparently. Right, so that was perfect. And 500 XP. Already have 300 more followers. And indeed, let's say on brand here, totes worth it. Okay, so now, now I am flipping swimming in money. Though, oh blimey. Okay, this is where you get weapons, is it? The weapon vending machine, right outside. Okay, I can see how, wow. Right, so, yes, there's a lot of things you can do with money if you start uh, saving it up. Very, very fast indeed, gotcha. Okay, but, I'd say it's time to give something back to this town. I'm going to buy $60 worth of apples. And I'm going to give those apples straight over to the town food bank. Now, admittedly, together with the pizza, yes, that's fine. And we're going to give that apple there too. There we go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. And one blueberry, because there was a spare. Because the moonshine, actually, you know what? Screw the moonshine. Screw the moonshine. I've just, oh, look at this. The food bank is just generating huge, huge amounts of... Yes! I've solved crime! I've solved crime! And I've still got plenty of money. I'm still swimming in money. Alright, that's it, guys. I've abolished crime. You're welcome. Still, picked up some berries at the end of the day. So, food is looking okay if unspectacular. The house is... The house is okay. And I've got a cat that loves me. Willow seems to be absolutely A-OK. -okay. My kitty's doing just fine. All right, everybody's got food. And just actually, I've discovered that uh, if you just work hard enough, you can just about keep your head over the water with just, you know, the legit legal jobs. And then, you know, try and donate a bit extra to the food bank. And uh, all of a sudden, there's a rainbow over the town. There's, there's a lot here I like, actually. This game is something where you look at it and you'd expect it to be something really simple and basic and uninteresting. But actually, it's... Yeah, there's a lot here I like, and I'm guessing it's going to get uh, a lot harder. As time goes by, there will probably come a point where, no matter how hard you work, it's impossible to keep up with the demands of the mob, because, to be honest, you're not really supposed to, are you? They just want to bleed you dry, then get rid of you, because, you know, you're a witness to a murder. A murder that you yourself set up, but yeah, they're probably going to want to get rid of you uh, sooner rather than later. So... Uh, as I understand it, yes, you're dealing with 20 days here. So this is the end of day nine. We're maybe about halfway through. Yes, there we go. Day nine out of 20 down over there. I have paid this guy. Karma is moving in the right direction. My family is holding together just for the minute. And if I wanted to, I could make, yes, illegal work pay more. But no, 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 no. Save up. Instead, make legal work pay more. We can do this. We can do this. And wow, sprinting speed. That's pretty good. Uh, junk being worth more. That's nice. Feeding being easier. That's good as well. Uh, yeah, save up for Tasty Burger, I'd say. That's probably a good idea. Right. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say you get the point. This here is Family Man, and uh, I'm impressed. It's a lot more complicated than you'd probably expect it to be. But yeah, some fun stuff here. Could well return to live stream to wrap it up. I'll keep it on how the video does. May well be showing up sooner rather than later. Because I would not mind seeing how this all wraps up at the end. So, uh, yeah, keep your eye out for that. Might well be showing up in the future. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Family Man. Thank you very much. And goodbye. Quick, torch it. Okay, that, that's, uh, that's too much, too much fire. I was trying to talk to these individuals, but I accidentally assassinated one of them instead. The real treasure is the actual physical treasure that exists inside treasure chests. I literally have no idea what I just did, but everyone seems really happy about it, so great.